Spider-Man No Way Home finally shows what happens when the different Marvel multiverses collide, and as insanely cool as that may be, these simple interactions would doom every living soul in each universe so horrifically that you're gonna sit in that theater scared out of your mind. Now I know what you're thinking. Is it crazy to spend days diving down a rabbit hole for a fictional story meant to entertain us just because you grew up admiring these characters and will never let them go? And to that, I say no. I'm gonna keep on sciencing up these iconic films and games until I can make a dent in getting the millions of young adults across the country to realize that they are intelligent enough to learn anything they want. Plus, it's been such a delightful science challenge for me to even tiptoe into as massive of a topic as multiverse theory. This is the science of the Spider-Man multiverse doom theory. Three major multiverse models exist to explain the way that different Spider-Man could exist at once. Once. One is called the Bubble Universe model. Well, the multiverses are actually part of one continuously long universe that, by moving faster than the speed of light, have stretched so far away that we will never see them, or they could even exist inside of their own black hole, and we could as well. As creepy as living in our own black hole sounds, even weirder is the second model, where what we think of as our three-dimensional universe is actually part of a larger nine-dimensional universe, with each universe being superimposed on each other like the pages in a newspaper. And the third model is the many worlds hypothesis, which states that each decision you make results in a split happening in the timeline, like one where you made a decision to see the Spider-Man movie on release day, and one where you decided to wait and thus had someone spoil it for you online. These two different worlds, or rather universes, would coexist alongside one another. Thanks to Loki and Spider-Man No Way Home, we can take a pretty good guess as to which multiverse model the MCU is operating on. Going back to Loki, where Sylvie stabs Kang the Conqueror, causing the sacred timeline to splinter into a series of endless divergent timelines, it seems like Marvel is playing off of the Many Worlds model, as we are literally seeing variant timelines being produced by everyone in the MCU making different decisions, leading to different realities. Even the entire show of Loki is based on the premise of the Many Worlds hypothesis, where at the show's start, we see Loki take the Tesseract, or Space Stone, and use it to travel to a desert, where he is then picked up by the Time Variance Authority, or TVA, for causing a split in the Sacred Timeline, because he made a decision that resulted in him creating another universe. The TVA then wiped out the Diverging Timeline, allowing only the One to exist. But now with the TVA being no more, and multiple timelines or universes coexisting, something far worse than any supervillain like Galactus exists that could happen at any time. If two universes universes happen to even touch each other, the results would end in the complete annihilation of galaxies worth of matter, which we know because it may have already happened in our past. In 2013, scientists were able to confirm that our universe has a blank cold spot spanning 1.8 billion light years across that is missing somewhere around 10,000 galaxies. Given that the rest of space across the universe is consistent with its temperature, this completely void region of space might be the result of a slight love tap between two universes. But this really isn't close to the utterly insane and bizarre instances that would actually happen if any of our infinite universes were to collide, which would result in a myriad of terrible possibilities with each one being more dangerous than the last. But luckily, any of these happening anywhere close to our galaxy or let alone Earth itself would be astronomically rare if it wasn't for a young Spider-Man and a spell-careless Doctor Strange. You see, while it's unknown if universes collide with one another due to them expanding, bouncing around in a false vacuum, or existing in a completely separate dimension, it's unlikely that they would interact in any way since there's nothing existing to bridge them together. But since we know that the MCU is going off of the Multiple Worlds model, one likely way that each Marvel Universe coexists with its counterparts is that each of them operate in their own separate dimension, with each dimension being superimposed on top of the other. Essentially, all of the individual universes are in a constant collision with each other at once, but they exist out of phase with one another. So the collisions between these universes do not result in any interaction occurring whatsoever. Like when two sound waves have their peaks occurring at different times rather than together, which would result in a bigger wave. Honestly, it was hard to come up with an 
easy to explain example that doesn't add another five minutes to this video, unless something was to bring the universes in phase with one another like a magic spell. Hopefully by now you know not to worry about any spoilers as I'm currently writing this before the release date of the movie, and as much as I just want to see all three Spider-Man together in one epic movie, going off of all of the evidence Marvel has given us and raw science, get ready for a climactic finish of the obscene horrors that Spider-Man and his multiverse tampering has unleashed upon us. Since Doctor Strange and Spider-Man, both currently unaware of the newly made multiverse, decided to cast a memory spell, it seems like they ended up pulling in everyone across multiple universes who are aware that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. And thanks to the backfiring of this magic spell, Doctor Strange may just have brought the universes in phase with one another for all the characters to come to the MCU. So what would really happen if these out of phase universes were brought together even for a moment? Well first, we would see a giant mirror in the sky come rushing at us because light would be reflected by the wall of the incoming universe, and with it would come the ultimate destruction of the entire universe, but the birth of a new one that we wouldn't live to see. If by some miracle of a chance we survived, we could expect the laws of physics to be completely different from our own. Faster than light travel might be a thing, instantaneous travel of matter could exist, likewise gravity could no longer exist, and we'd all float away into the void of space. All of Newton's laws could change or be void, meaning the Earth would stop spinning, which would initially send everything that isn't tied down flying eastward at 1,000 miles per hour, including the atmosphere, which would scour the land, creating winds as strong as an atomic blast. Giant tsunamis would sweep over 17 miles inland in less than a minute, Earth's magnetic field would disappear, exposing life to deadly cosmic rays, not to mention the Earth would be shot out of the sun's now absent gravity, hurling us through space at insane speeds. But it gets even worse than that. The laws of thermodynamics as well as relativity could change or disappear. The stars would stop shining, everything would freeze, we would be left in a frozen perpetual night with no means of growing nourishment or obtaining more breathable air, leaving us to a dark and slow death. But if you're thinking, nah, that's not so bad. Well, I saved my strangest piece of evidence for last. We could see the removal of time itself. Without our perceived fourth dimension of time, everything about reality itself would fall apart or just come to a complete standstill and reality itself would become an incoherent jumbled mess. Nothing would happen, including thoughts as thoughts, words, and memories happen in a sequence, which can no longer occur. Everyone would go blind as not even photons could move forward and the universe would exist in a state similar to that before the Big Bang. But if you're interested in checking out how science explains some of game's strangest happenings, then check out this video and subscribe so you don't miss my next theory.